Hi, my name is Laurent Garnier. I'm a DJ, musician, and I'm right here in Glasgow, in the Arches. I think LBS is, um, is, is a really strong uh, project because, I mean, it's the result of having toured with a band for 18 years, you know, um, um, working on, on the Kleptomaniac album. And we've done 18 months of touring with five people on stage and the music got more and more organic. And this is when I thought, I don't want to just go back to DJ. You know, I'm, I'm too old for this. I, I want to do other things. I want to, to make it more organic, make it more exciting, more live, more fresh, and try to, you know, move a bit forward with my DJing. And this is when I thought it would be quite nice to just plug in the machine, get just two of the boys, no, no acoustic, so make it very easy so we can plug it easily, we can play in clubs with really loud sounds, no problems with feedbacks and microphones and stuff. And this is when we just came with the idea, you know, just a Rhodes, no leads, another keyboard and Stefan on the machines with me and just play more techno than what we used to do in the live show. And I think the, the reaction everywhere is it's quite amazing. As long as people see what we're doing, which is really important for LBS, pe people need to see what we're doing. If they don't, they don't get it as much as, you know, they don't understand as much as what we're doing and they take it like for a they take it for a DJ set, which is much more than that. And if they see, they understand. You know, we're working hard and we we building the tracks for them with them. And I think the reaction is is usually quite strong. So I'm very happy with the concept. Very happy.
it's so good after 20 years or 25 years of techno music to have this especially in a time where where everything is changing at the moment you know the the, the kids are listening to completely different music their their way of seeing music and and um their relationship with music is very different than what I had 25 years ago, 20 years ago, or what I have now still. Um, I'm still very devoted to music, and I, I know a lot of kids that like music, but it's more like a, it's part of their everyday life. It's not a passion. It's not as much a passion as, as what I've known in the past. And um, it's quite nice to see young people going really banana and having a good time, understanding what's happening and really following us. Because um, I know we didn't play very easy stuff, no, you know, um, we, don't, we don't play hits apart from Men With A Red Face and stuff, but, um, you know, it's a bit more underground and I think people were very happy, so it's really cool, really good.
I mean, the live show is very different. The thing with the live show, um, with the live show, you're asking a lot of attention from people. So you're on stage, you only play one hour and 15 minutes, one hour and 20 minutes. And I had more people to deal with on stage. And we have to perform and do something every two seconds, because otherwise people think we're not working, we're not working hard. And I think by doing that, I think you giving far too much information to people. And then, of course, having saxophone as well makes it more jazzy than what this is. This is more designed for clubs, and the tracks we're playing live, we played live tonight, are much longer than the versions we do live, you know, with, with the proper live show. Because we had four hours, and I think we played three hours live in four hours. And each versions were like, 10 minutes longer than what they usually are. And, um, and the thing with the dance floor, you can deliver and you can work, but then you can as well stop. You know, you can leave your machines because as long as the kick drum is there and the hats are there and the bass is there, people dance. So you're not asking as much attention from people. You know, you leave them a little bit freer than, than, than what they usually are when they're going to see a live show, when they're just like this. You know, they watch you in a club, but then after that, they can talk to their friends, have a good boogie, and then see, see you again and watch again. So you're not asking as much attention. I think it it's, makes it a bit looser and makes it easier for people to dance. And it's true, we, we're living like... There's one thing, you know, we've been talking about together with the boys. We need to leave space and, and leave time where there's just a kick drum, uh, just a bass, and there's no no instrument playing live, you know, we can leave like 40 seconds, just leave the groove going and then we come in, then we do something. With the live show we can't do that. If you leave your instrument for 40 seconds, people look at you thinking, he's doing nothing. So you're not playing the same way at all. The, the, the relationship with your machine and with the music you play is completely different. In a club it's completely organic. In a live show, it's more jazz, so there's more improvisation, um, solos and stuff like this, and everybody goes after everybody, which with LBS, everybody's together. It's very different, it's a very different approach, but I like both. I think LBS, as I was saying before to you, is a, is a result of playing live. And um, if I didn't tour for 18 months, I would have never done LBS the way, the way it is now. And I think I chose the right people to come with because, you know, it was five of us on stage and I had to make a choice. And um, I think I have the right guys and uh, we, we know each other so well now. We don't even have to look at each other all the time. You know, we can go on for 10 minutes without checking each other out. We know exactly where we're going. And I'm still leading the thing. I know, I know they're following me, but then everybody is surprising everybody. You know, so so I don't I don't know how much you record tonight with your camera, but if if I, I know tonight and yesterday was the same, at some point somebody does something and then you'll see one of us three going, you know, looking at him going, where are you going? And sometimes it's mistakes, sometimes it sounds really good, and then we use it again the day after. So you know, this is the way we want to do it. We want to perform tracks. Uh, as freely as we can, as, as long as we can, and just um, give it to people. Making it special. There's nothing worse than going to a gig and seeing the same thing that they played the day before and the day before. Tonight was completely different than the gig we did yesterday in Toulouse. Completely different. The track listing, the, the way we played, uh, some versions tonight were much better than yesterday. Some versions yesterday was much better than tonight. Like if you take back to my roots, tonight I fucked it up because I had some, I don't know. I don't know what happened at one point. I, I just thought, where's the bass? And I just switched it off as a mistake. <laughs> and like for three minutes I had no bass and was trying to find it and I couldn't find, you know, I couldn't find where it was. And I switched a button off, which I never touched. So it took me a while to understand it. But yesterday the version was amazing. But tonight, um, the last track was, was really beautiful. Man with a Red Face was much better than yesterday. Uh, when, we, uh, when we did um, the first two tracks, they were much better than yesterday. So every night is different because it's live. It's real life.
Has this sort of changed the way you're thinking about making Yes, it? yes, completely, completely. Well, it's just, it's not just this, it's just what we did with the boys as well, with the band. Um, completely. Like, Kleptomaniac was the result of having toured with a band for a while. And then we brought Kleptomaniac uh, live, and then each track completely changed from their original version from the record. And we went much further for the last 18 months than what we've ever done before with the boys. And I've been working with my saxophonist for like 12 years. Uh, ben has been five years. Um, so, you know, the, the, I've known the guys for a while. But the way we evolved the last two years was really amazing. And then with, with now LBS, we can go much further because we have time. The only thing that really frustrated us when we were playing live was time. We did not have enough time to express ourselves. I love having, if I can do it, and if it works, I love having 20 minutes to play one track. Like the last track tonight, I watched the time and I knew it was going to last 20 minutes. But you can't play that when you do a live show, unless you have three hours. But you don't have three hours usually. You know, it's very rare that you actually do your own live in, your, in a room where there's just yourself. You usually play in a festival and, and you only got an hour and 10 minutes. And, I know Gnamakunji in eight minutes is too short. I know I see the Eiffel in eight minutes is far too short. And the last track is impossible. To, you know, when we stopped tonight, they said to us, play one more tune. And I said, do you have 15 minutes? And they said, no, we don't. I said, all right, so forget about playing a new tune. We'll come back to the last one and just do five minutes more. Because anyway, they loved it and you know, they never heard it before. So we'll make it special. And, and it's going to have more sense than doing a very short version of a new track. But um, I really like long tracks. I'm really into, it might sound weird to you, but I'm really into psychedelia. And, and I listen to a lot of you know, the doors and stuff like that. And, and I love people when they play live who just completely experiment and bring a crowd on the crowd on a different different level. And this is what I'm trying to do with LBS. I'm trying to uh, have moments where you know it floats. You don't know. Have energy moments, but then have other moments where it makes it very special for people. Thank mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. 